That workout was ridiculous. So I saw that workout. Someone did one on Instagram. Did a bit of a challenge. Oh. Someone's called Brock. So for time it's 100 cal row, 100 cal ski, 100 cal bike, but every two minutes, seven babies. And manage to get that one done in 21 and 29 minutes. It's good to get that sort of sweat on, go into the zone. You know, the first, for the row, three quarters of the ski, I was like, this is pretty comfortable, feeling good, trying to smash out as fast as I could. As soon as I got on the bike, and then doing burpees as well, my legs were gone. Every once in a while you need one of those workouts. Go to your pain cave, work as hard as you can, and just smash it out. 30 minute workout, pretty good way to finish off the day. So I just saw in the vlog before, just came back from Darwin, ended up spending uh, four days over there. So headed out Sunday night, came back Thursday or Thursday morning. A little bit disappointing. I noticed I had plans to do some better vlog, do a couple of harder workouts, show you around and even just to show you around the town, show you what's happening in Darwin, but it's pretty scary coming from the last time when I was up there about three, just under three years ago. A lot's changed, a lot's closed down. It's almost become a bit of a ghost town. One of the frustrating parts about that workout, wasn't the workout itself, is also around the Garmin. So I've got a Garmin Phoenix 5. Pretty good watch all in all. It's great when you're swimming, riding, so open water swimming, or you're running. But one thing that I didn't really factor in is how much I wanted to see when I was doing gym workouts. So apart from your normal outdoor activities, there are a couple of indoor gym activities you can do, like, you know, you got indoor cycling, indoor rowing, things like that. But like, in between CrossFit workouts, you can't track it. I can put it on cardio and it just does the normal timer and puts in a random amount of calories, but it's not a true reflection of what I'm actually doing. Um, and it's so annoying when you finish a workout and then, look back on it and it's like oh recovery for one hour so I know I worked harder than a one hour recovery but unfortunately the Garmin doesn't think so it's also crazy to think how reliant and how obsessed people can become with data and what it shows about them and um, I never really thought too much of it but since I've had this watch I've been looking at it and looking at the training threshold and how much training I'm doing and if it drops below optimal even though I'm training super hard, it's a little bit disheartening. And you look at it like, how much training am I doing? Am I doing enough? You know, do I need to do more? All that sort of stuff. So I've got to try and wean myself off looking at the data too much and just more do my circuit. And more so just do my workout, put in as much as I can. And if I feel good, then that's all I need. As you can probably tell, I'm going to be heading off for a ride this morning. So I finished up doing the, the Brock workout yesterday we saw on the vlog just before. Probably aim for about an hour and a half today. Um, yeah, there's a little circle we can go around. It's nothing too intense. Get the legs moving, keep everything active. It's good sort of rehab for my leg at the moment. Um, yeah, it's good rehab at the moment for my leg. It's not too strenuous, but it gets the movement going, builds up a bit of cardio work as well. Yeah, keeps the heart pumping, that's what we need. So I'll be heading out by myself, go to a couple of circuits, and take it on with me. Depending on the timing, I'm meeting up with Lucy afterwards for coffee, so depending on what time I finish, I might end up going for a swim, uh, which is why i got the backpack with me. If not, we'll go for a ride. Then we'll go for some coffee and see what else we do on the weekend. Yeah, halfway through the ride, an hour in. Um, just stopped off by a creek, tried to do some photos. Thought I'd stop off and show you guys what the arrow looks like. At the moment it looks a bit like the Willy Wonka River of chocolate. Look at Augustus. Don't worry, he can't drink it all. All in all, it's a pretty good ride so far. There's a nice little track here along the Yarra River, so it's about 
10 uh, k's in total the circuit that I'm doing. The Yarra goes for ages, so you can stand on it as long as you want. Uh, but yeah, 10 k's I'm going just up and back. It's good to get everything going. Quick little bike, picked him up the other week, and goes around. Nice little roadie. It's got all the gears, and I've got no idea. It's a good bike, gets me where I want to go. Um, so yeah, having a bit of a refill, food protein, BCAs, and some creatine. The idea with these sort of rides is I want to try and build up overall endurance. Um, so that's one thing that I learned with the Spartan race. Although you might be comfortable running you know, 10, 15 k's or so, if you're not learning to run over a long distance, over a long period of time, you're going to struggle in the race big time. So I've got around a month and a half until the next race, which means every weekend from now on will just be at least a one to two, possibly even a three hour ride. Um, yeah. Build up a lot of endurance within the legs, help the cardio side of things out, and we'll see how that improves my overall race time next race. If you like my videos, let me know. Let me know what you want to see. Give me a like and don't forget to subscribe because it will help me and will keep me going. Well, we'll see you next week.